And Bro didn't waste any time. The first thing he checked was his stats, which probably wasn't a good idea because he just got more depressed. No, God, please, no, no, no! What's poppin'? Now before I start the video, let me give a thanks to our sponsor today, Surfshark VPN. And y'all know I like to keep it transparent, so let's talk money real quick. They're willing to give you an 83% discount and 3 extra months for free just by signing up with the link in the description. Like 83%. That's higher than my test average. Plus, Surfshark VPN has multiple features. For starters, it helps you avoid travel restrictions. Like, how do you think Toya from In Another World with my smartphone has internet? I can tell you it's not God. It's a VPN. It also helps you remove all restrictions on anime you want to watch on apps like Crunchyroll or Netflix. And if you're stupid like me, it's easy to use. Just click the link and set up an account, then set up the VPN, click on the device you're using, download, and buy bada bing bada boom you're ready and like every relationship if you're just not feeling it you get a 30 day money back guarantee all right well maybe not relationships but they do nevertheless thank you again to surfshark vpn for sponsoring this video and enjoy so the spring 2023 anime season ended up coming out and your boy needed to make a video because let's be honest my upload schedule is dry as shit like when was the last time i posted hold on let me what this say march fuck god damn hey that's my bad listen besides the fact that i disappeared like aaron yeager's dad your boys watched every anime this season and i'ma get to all of them starting off with i gotta ch bro ain't no fucking way like at this point you can't tell me anime titles aren't getting longer but as i was saying your boys watched i got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too which i'm not gonna lie i think the main protagonist in this anime is depressing because how do i say this in a good way this man gets bitched bitched the terminology used when a person gets punked by another person in any type of situation usually when it comes to respect not to mention but when i was watching this anime it had me mad confused because we first see our main protagonist walking down the block and he finds this chick that's getting harassed yeah my tick honey at all scouts honor shoddy we all good people so just come with us and like here's where they lost me because she's obviously not into sexual harassment so the main protagonist walks in huh? but like who the fuck is this <laughs> But I cannot deny what you're doing is a good thing. But you're not walking in like a knight in shining armor. You're walking in like a DIY punching bag. You about to get folded. Like, look, these three are already pressing you. They talking all that crazy shit. And the funniest thing about all this is that you're about to get jumped. And she's not going to do nothing. Help me. Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic Now this piece of origami is Yuya, the same protagonist you see on the title screen. Hence why I was confused. And bros had a pretty bad life. For starters, homeboy was getting bullied in school. And for the record, this image is crazy. I mean, a kid took his shirt off in the middle of class. Plus, his step-parents and step-siblings treat him like shit. And as if things couldn't get any worse, bros grandfather passed away. So to summarize, we have pretty much hit rock bottom. I hate my life. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! Now we fast forward and things are looking good for everybody except for Yuya because people are still calling him a fat ass in his yearbook. Which I think is petty because like what? You just always want to remind him? Also, how many fucking times can you get jumped in one week? And why does everybody find it funny? Like what? What is going on? And his boss, that ass, had the audacity to fire him after getting jumped. I take it back. We are past the point of rock bottom. I don't even know where the fuck we are. Now, finally, Yuya ended up having enough of the bullying. I mean, bro started shadow boxing his mirror. And as bro is beating the brakes off himself, he ends up punching the bathroom wall, which results in him entering this Harry Potter styled room, which makes sense to me. I mean, if I had a portal that led to an isekai, it would be in my bathroom. Nevertheless, while Yuya was looking around, he peeps this massive door. And like any curious bastard, he went to look and ends up finding out that he has an isekai in his bathroom. And bro didn't waste any time. The first thing he checked was his stats, which probably wasn't a good idea because he just got more depressed. No, God, please, no, no, no. Now, after a little bit of copium, Yuya ends up finding out that he has a bunch of weapons in his inventory, which can only mean one thing. We're getting a training arc. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh. Mm. 
You know what? Fuck a training arc. It's not like it mattered. The guy had way too many weapons. Plus, he didn't have time. Cause a massive ogre was ready to finesse his shit. But luckily, bro was saved by plot armor. And I mean luckily. Like, look at this ogre. It's hitting this barrier with the star platinum combo. Like, it would've turned your ass into ground beef. And this is when things get a little too convenient. Cause now that bro realizes he's safe, he can execute this ogre to get some XP. And he does so thoroughly. He one-shots the ogre with a spear. And that's not even the convenient part because after realizing he can pick up the gear that the ogre dropped he can convert that gear into bread and i'm not even done because after bro got back home he started to transform that ass started going through metamorphosis and ends up looking like a completely different person hey real talk this is a little too different we like tank tops we like instagram likes they don't be smashing your check and then the episode just ends with everybody being surprised, which I think is appropriate. I mean, bro grew two feet. Nevertheless, if you guys enjoyed the video, do leave a like. And if you wanted to know where I've been, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty. Hold the mustard. I've just been watching too much anime, but at least now you get more videos. Also, next week, we're talking about Oshi no Ko. So get on that. Oh, and make sure you use my promo code. Lately, I've only been eating dirt with dressing. It's a struggle out here.